All right, so today is demo day. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna be showing off some cool shit that I built. This isn't a tutorial or anything like that. Although I also do have an awesome video on functional programming coming out soon. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel for that. All right, so my main goal in building this website was to make something that was really easy for non-technical people to use. So I wanted something that was not self-hosted, something where you could just go there and look at the news. Uh, but then if you did really want to like mold it and make it into your own, you could really like get access to all of the code to actually do that. And so if you go and visit the website, uh, www.spronkin.com, link in the description, you get taken to this uh, tutorial page that basically just like quickly explains the website and what's really important. And this is something that I actually put a lot of thought into is it has this big link. It's the only link on the page uh, that says try the default config. And so basically what this does is you go to the homepage, uh, you click this link, and then it takes you to a newsfeed where you can actually immediately go ahead and start looking at some news. So like without any sign in, without any like setup or technical expertise or anything like that, uh, you can immediately go to a newsfeed and see what a newsfeed is supposed to look like. What's really cool here and what makes this website in particular so spicy is this show hide code button in the upper right hand corner. And basically what this does uh, is if you go and you click show hide code, it actually shows all of the code that's used to render uh, this news feed right here. And so right away, even if you're not super technical, you can look at the code and immediately just go in and start messing with it. Like you don't even know how to program. You can just like look at these numbers and be like, what do these numbers do? Like what happens if I change this like five to a 20? Like how does it affect the feed, right? So there's this like favorite. Uh, so something that's really cool is there's this favorite sources map and it has you know, these new sources and, you know, a number next to them, uh, which represents, you know, like how much I like this particular source, right? And so I can go and I can say, well, what happens if I change these numbers around? If I make the weight for like CNN, like 50. And so I can see if I go ahead and I submit this here, uh, it actually rearranges the entire news feed to prioritize articles that were written by CNN. So it takes our favorite sources and it puts articles from that new source all the way at the top of the feed. Uh, we can also mess around with some of the other numbers in here. In this ranking score for articles, uh, if we change this number, so we really uh, super heavily prioritize the most recent news articles, you can see that if I reload the feed, then it will show the most recent article at the top, and then all of the other articles will be sorted by their timestamps. And so what's kind of neat here is that I don't want everybody to have to write their own news feed from scratch. What I want is I want you to be able to take something that's out there, you know, something that's maybe been built by someone else and then customize it and be able to fully tweak it and mold it into exactly what you want it to be. Uh, sort of like editing your config in Emacs. So the next thing that I have, uh, this like customizations tab, uh, I kind of want to think about it like a bunch of little Emacs packages. Like it's not like a, uh, it's not like a full config in itself, but it shows you how to do certain types of things and lets you copy and paste bits of code into your own config uh, to get certain types of behavior. Uh, so for example, uh, there's this example customization that shows you how to filter out news articles that contain certain keywords. And so what you can do is you can uh, start out with this example customization and kind of play around with it, uh, try filtering out a few keywords and see how it works. And then you can copy paste all of the code that it takes to do that into your own configuration and then add keyword filtering on top of whatever else you were trying to do. So the idea behind this customizations tab is that both like it is the tutorial and you can sort of learn by doing, uh, but also that, you know, you have a starting place and you can just like copy paste a bunch of code into your own config and you don't have to build it all by yourself. Another thing that I built that I'm really, really proud of is the way that the try it button works. Uh, so the try it button is actually a get request that puts the entire code string in the URL. So it takes you right away to the screen for the new config. Uh, but then you can also go and copy paste that URL and share it with someone else. So you can like, you know, share your news config with like, you know, a friend or someone else. And then if you actually want it for yourself and you want to save it permanently, there's this extra save button, which prompts you to sign up for an account and stuff. But when you're signed in, what it does is it actually saves it so that that's your homepage 
when you visit Spronket.com. One more thing I want to show you that I think is really, really wild uh, is I also added the ability to like and dislike particular articles. So like, you know, when you're scrolling through the feed, you can say like, I like this article or I don't want to see this and I don't want to see more like this article. Um, and then that gives you a score. Um, basically that's like, you know, how similar is this new article uh, to articles that I've previously liked or like, you know, for new stories coming in, like how closely does it match the articles that I've liked or disliked? And then you can actually like use that article score and combine it with the other elements uh, in your config. So you can say like, I want to see articles that are super recent and from the New York Times, but also prioritize articles that are related to articles that I've liked. Um, so I think that's really cool as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, feel free to play with the default config. Uh, feel free to play with the customizations. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, I'm, this is something that I've like actively been working on uh, for a couple months now and I'm really excited about. So like, uh, I'd love to know what people like and they want to see more of. Uh, also, I'm still trying to think of a good name for the website. I'm heavily limited by what domain names are still publicly available, but so far my two top picks were Sprocket.com and Wonka.me, so let me know which ones you prefer down in the comments. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe for more quality content, and I will see you in the next video.